are there like any particular tools you might recommend that the average teacher or just end user might not even be aware that uh, the Chrome lineup currently offers? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And you know, this is this is what I, I love about my my role is I actually get to work with a lot of these companies, uh, you know, h- helping them integrate within into the Google ecosystem. So you know, one you know one that's always kind of comes to top of mind. It's a big question we get. You know, why don't Chromebooks work with smart boards? Um, and you know, there's some technical reasons for that. But what Smart has actually done is develop a new digital whiteboard product called Smart Amp. Um, and I'm really fond of because it works so well within the Google ecosystem. You can sign in with your Google account and you can actually provision your users directly from Classroom because they've integrated with the Classroom API. Um, and it's, it's, I think it's Smart's best product and, and, it, and it works so well with Chromebooks. That sounds cool. Yeah. Um, and then uh, kind of getting into, into another tool type of, uh, of app, uh, there's one called Zaption. And they won the, uh, they actually won the best in show at is, uh, sorry, South by Southwest EDU last year. Um, and it, it's a cre- it's kind of a video lesson editing and creation tool sure. co-founded by an ex-Google certified teacher, which is now Google Innovator. Nice. Um, and, and their CTO just won, uh, just was just included in the Forbes 30 under 30 in ed tech. Um, and again, they're super integrated with products like Classroom and YouTube. Um, and then, you know, the last one that I really like, and it's it's, it's not as popular and wide, more as widely used, but it's very different. Um, and it's it's a subject that is starting to get a little underlooked in schools these days, in my opinion. Yeah. And it's a music app. Cool. Um, it's called Flat.io or just Flat. Um, and it, it's amazing. It's one of the most beautiful applications I've seen built. And uh, it's amazingly integrated with Google too. They have, have Hangouts integration, Drive integration, Classroom integration. Um, and it's just an incredibly simple, intuitive, and fun way for students, students to learn how to compose music. Do you have any other like suggested tools or applications, maybe like the top three, for example, that you would recommend uh, teachers or schools to use in their classrooms? Definitely, definitely. Uh, you know, the first one I have to say, and it's not just because I work here, but uh, Classroom. Um, it, you know, it's 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 one that uh, if you're if you're working within the Google universe and you're a teacher, it will help you save tons of time and make your workflow uh, with between your students around assignments, um, especially within the Google Docs and Google Drive ecosystem, so much smoother. Um, and any Google apps for education school has uh, access to Classroom, and if you don't, you just need to get, ping your administrator and get them to turn it on for you. Nice. Um, but it, it is, uh, we have around 10 million 30-day active users after just a year, um, which is crazy. One of the fastest growing ed tech products of all time. Um, so one I would highly suggest using if you know, teachers want to save time uh, around you know, workflow and assignments. Um, another one that I, I particularly like um, and this is for teachers that are looking to find useful and a, not just not just popular, um, but effective digital lessons and content. And it's called Open Ed. And okay. what it is, is it's a uh, it, it's a it's a tool that lets you take on different type of open resources, Khan Academy videos, Learn Zillion videos, um, maybe small publisher YouTube videos. Uh, you, there's just tons of different types of content and lesson plans that actually you can Put an open ed assigned to your students. Your students go through the lesson, and then they take a series of assessments after that. And so you can see how your student, how well your students have learned uh, that particular piece of content. And what open ed does is they know how effective a, p- a certain resource is based on how the metadata and the, the data that they collect um, around ha- just how how well students have been doing after watching that particular piece of content. So for example, they know things like Khan Academy videos aren't as effective as you might think. Um, and that the, the, the most effective types of digital content you create are actually uh, short uh, cartoons and then also games. Super interesting stuff. And That's they cool. rank and show you how effective a piece of content is. And the last one is Newzella. Okay. And this is a way to curate news articles and, and current events um, that's also super integrated with Google Classroom and is definitely one of the faster growing ed, ed tech products out there in its, in its, in its sector. Um, and it's another one that, that I am particularly, particularly fond of, you know, especially because of how integrated with Google they are, but because they're definitely the leading app in that space. That's really great. And these sound really interesting and just really well integrated and very well thought out. That's, I mean, again, just stuff I can't believe exists. You know, it sounds like it's got to be incredibly helpful for, you know, educators across the board. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. And, and trust me, this isn't just, you know, based on my opinion, it's based on feedback, you know, our, our sales reps get from schools, too. That's cool. Well, I appreciate that.